there are a few different tools that teachers will use to communicate deadlines and um, due dates and stuff like that to you. The one place is the news feed. The news feed is here on the home page and teachers might post little things like this that indicate um, when an assignment is due or what's coming up in the week. The other one is the work to do widget. The work to do widget may be there on your course homepage. Again, teachers can customize these so every course might look a little bit different. If your teacher is using the work to do widget, you will only see things on there if the assignment that they've assigned you has a due date. If your teacher hasn't established firm due dates for things, you might not see anything here. And it doesn't mean that there isn't any work to do. It just means that your teacher hasn't put a strict due date on an assignment. So if you don't see anything on the work to do widget, don't assume that you have no work to do. Make sure you're checking in a few other places. You can also go down and check the calendar. The calendar will also be populated with start and end times for assignments. Again, the most important place I would say to check is the newsfeed or check your email. If your teacher is sending a weekly email with instructions for what work to do for the week, that is usually where you're going to see the tasks. It's important that you read those instructions to make sure you're not missing anything. Um, the other place where you might find instructions is in the content section. We've talked about content before, but remember the content area is very important. This is where you're finding your lessons. Some teachers structure their content area week by week. So instead of units, you might just see week one. And when you open up week one, each of these items might correspond with the tasks that you're expected to do through the week. Any questions, reach out to an educator in your school who might be able to support you. Great people to tap on would be your guidance counselor, teacher librarian, or your student success teacher. Good luck.